I right, boom this is gonna be a video of the god of war original saga story summary and you man are probably thinking don you never played god of war i've actually played two hours of the game but not ragnarok the game before that was on pc but when i was playing it i was like i have no idea what's going on so the only things i do know about this man i don't know his name i can't remember his name the only thing i know about this man is he has a son and someone died. But apparently like there's a whole story before that. Like apparently there's like four or five or, four or three other games before that. Like apparently like, uh, he doesn't, like apparently he doesn't look this old. Like this is, he doesn't look this old. Apparently like there's, there's stuff of him looking like mad younger. And I, and I was just like, what? Because obviously I knew about God of War like back in the day when I was like, when I was growing up, I just didn't have a PlayStation to play on. Like I just, I couldn't afford a PlayStation. I had an Xbox. And obviously when you have an Xbox, you're not like, if you buy an Xbox console, you're not going to then buy a PlayStation, a PlayStation console, unless you're rich. And I'm not, I wasn't rich. I'm not rich. So yeah. But today we're going to be checking out God of War. I'm hoping to like maybe get into this and then maybe we can do some gameplay or maybe we can do like some, um, if there's more stuff that I need to know about the game, maybe we can do that. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's get into it. God of War, uh, original saga story. What you need to know. I think this is one till three. I believe this is one till three. Let's get into With it. With the upcoming God of War for PS4. That's loud. We see series protagonist Kratos taking on a new mythological foe. So we here at Suggestive Gaming figured that oh, would be a good time to go over Kratos' first that clean, I can't even lie. the Greek pantheon. So strap yourself in because this is what you need to know about the entire original God of War saga from okay. start to finish. Oh my god. The story begins with the primordials, the very first beings to come into existence, fighting for control of their creation, Earth. This war ravished the world and eventually the three Furies were born from the rage and power of the battle. The oh. Furies were then tasked to honor oaths between the various beings of Earth. Their first victim was the Hecatoncheries, a Geon, that's who had a broken cool, an oath to the first half. gods, Zeus. To make an example of Geon, the Furies petrify his body into the prison of the damned for anyone who dared to break an oath in the future. Eventually, the Furies began to take guidance from the god of war, Ares, who convinced them to join him in a siege on Olympus. Believing their forces to be too weak, the queen of the Furies, Electo, birthed a son with Ares, hoping to create a powerful warrior. Right. This warrior, Orcos, proved to be a failure in Ares' eyes and was disowned. Why was However, he a the failure? Furies decided to use him as their oath keeper. With Ares still in... But why was he a failure? Like, what, what did he do to become a failure? Like, did he... Was he not strong enough or something? ...search for his warrior to help take over Olympus, Zeus hears of a prophecy for telling his death at the hands of one of his sons, a marked warrior. Ares is then tasked to find and dispose of this threat. Oh, Ares discovers right. Deimos, a young Spartan who bore a birthmark all over his body and storms the city to the capture him. The guy on the right, During okay. The kidnapping, Deimos' brother, another young Spartan by the name of Kratos, attempts to stop the god, oh, Spartan. he is down, oh. a scar over his right eye. Oh, Ares I see. Ares attempts to kill Kratos for this, but his sister, Athena, the goddess of war, convinces him to spare the boy. Deimos is then taken to the god of death, Thanatos, to prevent the prophecy and protect Zeus. Right. Kratos, tortured by his inability to save his brother, vows to never fail like that again and tattoos a replica of Deimos' birthmark on himself in remembrance. Kratos' rage and pain remained with him as he became a leading member of the Spartan army. Eventually oh, marrying okay. a Spartan woman named Lysandra, and the two have a daughter whom they name Calliope. Calliope, unfortunately, I thought he had a son. I didn't know he had a daughter. This is... I thought he had a son. A play, right, okay. Her skin ...and causes the Spartan authorities to decide for her to be thrown into a chasm and left to die. Oh. Kratos then sets off to find the cure for Because her. apparently Spartans are, like, really strict growing up. Like, I think... What was it? Spartans used to, like... Like, when you was when you was a Spartan, if you wasn't if you wasn't a strong baby, they'd leave you on top of a cliff or something like that. I think that was, like, the, the, the legend that we used to go around about Rome. Was it Rome? Spartans, I think so. I, you know, I'm not that smart. I'm not even gonna lie. Disease, a mysterious element with the exceptional healing abilities called ambrosia. Right. Unbeknownst to Kratos, the gods had a wager in which they selected various heroes whom they believed would be the first to obtain the ambrosia. Kratos was chosen by Ares, likely due to their prior run-in in which Kratos displayed his resilience and bravery. Makes After sense. After battling the Makes other gods' selected heroes, Is this Kratos a manga? fights a climactic battle with an army of barbarians and their leader Ulrich, who was trying to retrieve the ambrosia to heal his own father. Kratos oh. eventually bests Ulrich and captures the Ambrosia, but at the cost of many of his men. Upon returning to Sparta, Kratos heals his daughter, and the king of Sparta bestows on him the title of captain. Oh. As captain of the Spartan army, Kratos so what his to his daughter, to many victorious battles, often slaying scores of enemies with an increasing hunger for power, despite the wishes of his wife. 
Eventually, Kratos comes across a familiar enemy, the barbarian king Ulrich, who still blames Kratos for his father's death. Kratos uh, and his enough. army are no match for the rebuilt barbarian army, and Kratos, moments away from death at the hands of Ulrich, calls out to Ares in desperation. Ares, seeing a candidate to overthrow Olympus, accepts Kratos' offer of loyalty and kills the barbarians in exchange. Oh, wow. He then gives Kratos the Blades of Chaos, symbolizing his servitude to the god of war. Under Ares' loyalty, Kratos slays many... So he was about to die and then basically got saved. That's kind of... Okay, because I, cause I always thought he was this, like, strong-ass warrior, you know? Like, they didn't even know death, but apparently he almost died. Wow. In the name of him. Okay. Under Ares' influence, Kratos slowly loses his humanity with every battle fought for the god. Oh. Soon, Kratos is tasked to raid a village of Athena's followers due to Ares' jealousy of Athena, whom their father Zeus favored. There, he this is like PS3 Oracle, graphics. He warns Kratos of dark things awaiting him inside the Or maybe PS2 temple. graphics. Kratos ignores this warning and enters the temple, blindly slaughtering those inside. Oh, However, wow. However, afterwards, Kratos comes to realize that those inside the temple were none other than his beloved wife, Lysandra, and daughter, Calliope. No Ares way! That he had transported them there secretly in order to sever Kratos' human ties and create the perfect warrior. No! Kratos leaves the bodies of his family inside the temple to burn, and as he exits, the oracle curses him, binding the ashes of his wife and child to Kratos' skin. Oh my him god! Him reminder of his failures and turning him into the ghost of Sparta. Oh, wow. His allegiance to Ares and it's kind of dark. Man killed his own wife and kids. And torture him with endless illusions. Kratos then finds himself trapped in an illusion of his former home in Sparta. Orcos appears before him and helps him break the illusion using Lysandra's necklace and ring. Orcos then convinces Kratos to seek out Aletheia, the oracle at Delphi. He finds the oracle captured, but is unable to prevent her from being mortally wounded. Before right. death, she informs Kratos that the only way he can be free of his oath to Ares would be to slay the Ults Enforcers, the Three Furies. Kratos returns to Orcos, who informs him of Ares' true intentions all along to use him to overthrow Zeus. What's that black thing on him? Kratos travels to Delos to slay the Furies. Upon his arrival, however, he is ambushed and captured by them, and they proceed to torture him in the prison of the Damned. Oh my After god. After two weeks of torture, one of the Furies two leaves weeks of torture. Kratos to exploit and escape his imprisonment. After various battles and illusions, Kratos is able to outsmart and outfight Ooh. the Furies, slaying all three of them. Oh my god. After the death of the Furies, Kratos returns <laughs> that to his home in Sparta, where he finds Orcos, who reveals to Kratos that while he had killed the Furies, they transferred Kratos' oath to him. Keeping you got like one him. really pale guy, and then you got a guy with black stuff on him. <laughs> you know the ones there? Furies attacked. Orcos hands Kratos his blade and asks him for an honorable death in order to... I would not let him touch me, I can't even lie. Kratos complies, killing Orcos and burning his home with the former Oathkeeper's body still inside. Wow. No longer under servitude to Ares, Kratos dedicates his life to serving the gods of Olympus as their trusted warrior. After defeating an invading Persian army for the gods, Kratos appears before them to ask for his next task. Suddenly, however, he sees the sun fall from the sky, enveloping the world in darkness. Wait, what? Kratos follows the last trace of light he can see to the Temple of Helios. After speaking to Athena, Kratos concludes that Helios had been captured, allowing the god of dreams Morpheus to entrance other gods into a deep sleep, allowing him to oh. take control of Greece. Inside the temple, Ios, Helios oh, this is in Greece. Okay, cool. Kratos to awaken her brother's fire steeds in order to find him. In return, she promises to relieve Kratos of his nightmares, which haunts Wait, was Sparta's Greek or were they Italian? Wait, no, no, no. I need to Google this. I feel like I'm an idiot for this one. I can't even lie. Like, I actually feel like I'm an idiot if I don't know this one. Was Spartans from Greek or Italy? Spartans were associated with ancient Greece that reach. No, I'm an idiot. It was the Rome. Oh my God, it was the Romans that were Italian. Nah, do you know what it is? For some reason, I always thought Spartans. Okay, cool. Let's let's just let's just let's just gloss over that one. All right, nothing happened. I actually always thought that Spartans were like Romans. Wow. Okay, never mind. I'm an, in the form of a wow. melody his daughter used to play on her flute. Learn something new every day. He does this, and the steeds take him to Helios's location, the underworld. There, he meets Sharon, the ferryman on the river Oh my Styx, God! Uh. Denies Kratos' passage as uh. it is not his time. Kratos engages him, but is knocked unconscious and thrown into Tartarus. What? The darkest depths of the underworld, where the Titans had been chained by Zeus. Upon waking, the Titans, Kratos you know, his Atlas's chains broken and the Titan missing. Kratos fights his way through. That Tartarus, doesn't sound eventually good. Eventually, climbing out to confront Charon once again. After defeating him, Kratos uses his ferry to follow Helios's light down the river Styx to a temple. There, Kratos sees his daughter upon the shore. He but didn't he kill her? Inside, but instead finds Persephone, the queen of the underworld. Oh. Persephone reveals to Kratos that she kind of looked bad though, I can't even lie. Again, and she is now residing in the Elysium Fields. What does Persephone that mean? tells Kratos that to see his daughter, he must make a sacrifice to give up all of his weapons and powers given to him by the gods. Not by now. No, no way. Tree and regains his humanity. 
Oh. He his daughter, but the reunion is interrupted by Persephone, who reveals her true intentions. No. She reveals that it was her who released Atlas, whom she tasked with destroying the pillar that holds the earth. She intends for this to kill everyone, including herself, to free her from her imprisonment by Hades as his wife. Kratos painfully makes the decision Wait, Hades? to his ability to save his wife in prison. His weapons from the tree. Doing this, ah. he once again becomes the ghost of Sparta, and against his daughter's wishes, takes off to stop Persephone. Kratos finds the queen at the base of the pillar, oh, wow. and she carries him to the top. There, the two engage in a final battle. During this battle, Persephone attempts to confuse Kratos and convince him to return to Elysium to be with his daughter. Kratos resists this. Oh however, my God! This would be so much fun. What is that? Of. Atlas oh, is that a Titan? Chance, however, as Kratos chains the Titan to the ceiling of the underworld and returns to Persephone, besting her in battle and killing her. <laughs> Why does Fist look so big? Destroying the pillar and leaving Atlas as the only thing holding the world together. Oh wow! Atlas, though defeated, taunts Kratos as he remains a slave to the gods. Kratos accepts this fate as he can only hope that serving the gods will cause them to one day free him from his nightmares. Atlas then predicts to Kratos Probably that not. meet again. Probably not. Kratos leaves to return Helios to the sky. Weak and now knowing that his sins will never allow him to see his daughter again, Kratos falls from the chariot, landing on a cliff overlooking the Aegean Look how big his glove was. <laughs> Sometime after waking, Kratos is sent into the sea to kill a hydra and return peace to the waters. After doing so, he oh my is God, that is by huge. Athena, who to save her city, Athens, from her brother Ares, whose army is currently advancing. Kratos, seeing an opportunity to is in Ares, Greece, right? Ares on the condition that the gods free him of his nightmares once and for all, as well as offer him a chance at redemption. Kratos enters Athens to find the town's oracle, who tells him that in order for a mortal to defeat a god, he must seek the power of Pandora's box, which is right. locked inside a temple constructed on the back of the titan Kronos, who Zeus cursed to wander the desert of lost souls for eternity. Kratos makes his way to the temple, encountering a mysterious gravedigger on the way. Inside the temple, Kratos solves several puzzles in order to find Pandora's box. However, Ares senses oh, this about and pillar from oh. Athens, impaling Kratos and killing him. Oh Ares my then god! And steals the box as Kratos dies and returns to the underworld. Oh! However, with help from the grave digger, who refers to Kratos as my child, he is able to climb from Hades and return <laughs> to Athens. There, he so he dies and basically comes back alive. Power to confront Ares. After a battle, Ares tortures Kratos by forcing him to relive his family's death at his hands. Oh Kratos resists wow! This, however, and Ares is forced to strip the blades of chaos from Kratos' oh arms my God. and kills the illusions of his family in front of him. Freed from the illusion, Kratos finds a nearby this sword is and dark. uses an ornamental bridge and uses it to kill the god of war. The gods praise Kratos for killing the rebelling Ares. Kratos then asks Athena to finally free him of his nightmares. Athena then finally reveals to Kratos that while she can forgive his sins, his nightmares will stay with him forever. Kratos, mm, feeling makes abandoned sense. by the gods, climbs back to the cliffs overlooking the Aegean Sea, and feeling death as his only escape, throws no himself away. No way! However, Athena stops him at the bottom, claiming that there is now an empty throne upon Olympus. Kratos then enters a portal and claims his throne as the new god of war. Uh, Still by his memories, Kratos decides to explore his fire. against Athena's wishes. He makes his way to the Temple of Poseidon in Atlantis. Poseidon attempts to stop Kratos, but he defeats his Damn. defenses and reaches the city. There, Kratos finds <laughs> the kid in this game his looks fire. I can't even lie. She reveals to him that his father is the one who brought her there, and that his brother Deimos is still alive but does not have much time. Before dying, she tells Kratos to seek out his brother in Sparta. Kratos then Spa. departs Atlantis, but not before encountering the Titan Thera, whom he frees, destroying the city in a flood. Oh wow! Kratos returns to Sparta, but on oh his my way god! Oh my Thanos god! His daughter Arenes. Did you see the jiggle in that? The city, he is praised by its inhabitants, led by a young Spartan who gives Kratos his arms from when he was the commander of the Spartan army. Kratos goes to the Temple of Ares, and after encountering a spirit-like vision of his younger oh. self, he learns that he must return to Atlantis to find What man just do it? Man just knocking himself him, out. Kratos is stopped by a statue of Poseidon, inhabited by the god, who warns him that he will pay for sinking the kingdom of Atlantis. Kratos avoids the statue and makes his way through the ruins of the city, eventually coming across the gravedigger once again. Oh. Who cryptically warns Kratos not to alienate the gods. Kratos then finds the gateway to Death Domain. Inside, Kratos finds and frees his brother, who becomes enraged at him for seemingly forgetting about him. For oh, time. right at the Thanos beginning. Kratos arrives and intervenes, capturing Deimos and bringing him to the same cliff Kratos attempted to kill himself from. No. Kratos saves his brother and the two oh, okay. reconcile. Kratos gives Deimos his arms, and the two fight Thanatos together. During the battle, Thanatos kills Deimos. And when Kratos you say his arms, do you mean like weapons? Because I'm keep thinking he's actually giving him his literal arms, but I'm gonna because he still has his arms on him. But I'm, I'm gonna assume weapons. The God of Death. A broken Kratos How do you kill the God of Death? The mountain, where the grave I guess you stab it. Yeah, fair enough. Kratos ponders what he has become, and the Grave Digger answers, Death, the destroyer of worlds. That's actually kind of fire, though. Him and attempts to elevate him to a full god. Kratos oh. stops him, however, and returns to Olympus, claiming that the gods will pay for what they have done to Kratos and his family. But why not as just become a god and then do it? To him as brother. 
A grave digger then buries okay. Callisto next to Deimos and proclaims upon a third grave that now only one remains, as Kratos returns to his throne and plans his next move against the gods, leading his Spartan army to conquer Greece. Uh... After launching this attack, Athena pleads with Kratos to stop. He claims to owe her nothing and turns his back on her to assist his army in the town of Rhodes. There, he spots an eagle, whom he believes to be Athena. Is he a giant? Who robs him of his godly abilities and instead infuses them into the Colossus of Rhodes, who comes to life and tries to kill Kratos. Oh, Zeus wow. Arrives and offers Kratos the Blade of Olympus, which he once used to win the great war between the gods and the titans. Zeus urges Kratos to infuse the blades with his remaining godly powers, which renders him mortal once again, but allows him to destroy the Colossus from the inside. Right, Upon right. Doing this, however, Kratos oh, is crushed no. by the Colossus's severed hand. Determining oh, that he must no. retrieve the Blade of Olympus to get his immortality back, he slowly makes his way over to it, only to be stopped by Zeus, who reveals himself to be the eagle that stole Kratos' power, in an oh. attempt to kill him to stop him from overthrowing Zeus as he did with Ares. Zeus then stabs Kratos, killing him. Damn! While he is being dragged into the underworld once more, that the mother of the Titans Gaia saves terrifying. him and reveals that Kronos, Zeus's father, he's died quite a lot. <laughs> like you know the ones that like he's actually died quite a lot. He dies a lot and then just gets saved. Ate all of his children in an attempt to stop the prophecy that he would die. Wait, the wait, that I'm sorry. While he what? is being dragged into the underworld once more, the mother of the Titans Gaia saves him and reveals that Kronos, Zeus's father, ate all of his children in an attempt to stop the prophecy that he would die at the hands of one of his sons. Wow. Zeus's mother, however, hid him on an island that was actually Gaia. Gaia raised the boy, but he grew vengeful and eventually sought to defeat the Titans, which he Makes did sense. by using the blade of Olympus. Oh, Gaia offers okay. To help Kratos exact revenge on the king of Olympus. Gaia gives Kratos the magical horse Pegasus, and he escapes oh, wow. the world to find the Sisters of Fate in order to change his past and kill Zeus. Kratos flies to the island of creation, and after besting several powerful foes, including a risen Ulrich, he comes across Icarus, whom he strips of his wings, plummeting below the earth and landing upon Atlas. Uh. refusing to help Kratos, still holding begrudgment over his imprisonment at the Spartans' hands, Atlas is eventually persuaded to help him kill Zeus. Atlas helps Kratos return to the surface, where he awakens the phoenix and flies to the Temple of the Fates. They're gonna kill the Zeus? Oh my god, is that even possible? Wishes, but the sisters deny him passage. Is Kratos she just had- does she just have like a titty out? Lachesis and Atropos, who attempt to take him back to his battle with Ares and force him to die by the god's hand in the past. He avoids this effort and traps the sisters in a mirror, then destroys she really him does. away for eternity. No, this Kratos game would have been lit. The eldest sister, Clotho, who operates the Loom of Fate. Kratos kills the final sister and takes oh control my of the god. to change his fate. He turns the threat of fate back to his death at the hands of Zeus and saves his past self by reclaiming the Blade of Olympus before nice. Zeus has a chance to. The two then engage in a battle until Zeus stuns Kratos with a lightning storm. Kratos plays possum and pins Zeus before driving the Blade oh. of Olympus into the god's chest. Before he can kill him, however, Athena appears and intervenes to protect Olympus. Zeus attempts to escape, Kratos lunges at him with the blade, and Athena sacrifices herself by oh, jumping in front of it, saving damn. her fight. Kratos asks Athena why she would do this, and she reveals that she did it to allow Zeus to stop the cycle of sons killing their fathers, finally revealing that Kratos is, in fact, a son of Zeus. Wait, what? Vowing to destroy Olympus, Kratos returns to the loom and turns back time all the way to the Great War. He is that why the gods favored him? Maybe. Is that why he had Gaia all that power? Return to Kratos' time where an injured Zeus is calling on his fellow gods to kill Kratos. The Titan army, led by Kratos, then storm Olympus with the intent to win the Great War. Oh my all. god. The Titans and Gods wage a very intense and bloody battle as Poseidon begins to take on Gaia. Kratos draws him into Gaia's that grasp and for, for step top him, can't even lie. knocking him onto a platform and beating him before gouging his eyes out and snapping his neck, wow. killing him and flooding the entire world. Wow. Kratos and the Titans they they make cut, it to wait, the did he say flooding the entire attack, world? Killing him and flooding the entire world. Oh, okay, Kratos fair enough, the okay. then make it to the top of Olympus and confront Zeus, who, anticipating their arrival, hits them with a blast of lightning, damages Gaia, and knocks her and Kratos off the mountain. Right. Attempting to hang on, Kratos is then betrayed by Gaia, who lets him fall as he is no longer a use to them now that they have reached Zeus's throne. No way. After falling once again to his death, Kratos makes his way through the river Styx, lamenting that he was used as a pawn by both the gods and the Titans. Right. He then reunites with a reformed Athena, who is willing to help Kratos from her new level of existence. Oh. He then realizes the goal of his final quest, extinguishing the flame of Olympus in order to finally defeat Zeus. To do this, however, he must find Pandora, the child of Pandora's box's namesake. Kratos makes, makes his way through Hades and eventually finds Hades' palace and the dead body of Persephone. Hades arrives in the two battle before Kratos defeats the gods, oh sealing his soul. Oh my into his own god. Weapons. Kratos then escapes Hades through a gate and encounters Helios, whose head Kratos proceeds to rip off. He wow. He encounters Hermes, who he kills, and later his own half brother Hercules, whom he also kills. Kratos meets with Aphrodite and her husband Hephaestus in order to find their daughter. That's Pandora. a man? Hephaestus refuses to lead Kratos to her, however, and reveals that after Kratos opened Pandora's box, Zeus became overcome with fear and forced Hephaestus to reveal to the creation of the key of the box. The fact that you, this brother's got Zeus 
scared is crazy. Later took on a life of its own as a girl whom he named Pandora. Zeus then took Pandora and banished Hephaestus. Kratos urges Hephaestus, who tasks him with retrieving the Amphalos stone in order to make a weapon to allow Kratos to find Pandora. Right. In his attempt to find the stone, Kratos comes across Kronos, who assumes he has tried to kill Gaia, and attacks him. Kratos fights Kronos and eventually frees the temple from the Titan's body before he eats Kratos. Oh, Inside his wow. stomach, Kratos retrieves the Amphalos stone and cuts his way out and kills Kronos once again. Okay, that's Kratos fire. confronts Hephaestus, who reveals that he was trying to send him on a suicide mission. Hephaestus attempts to feign innocence before trying to kill Kratos instead. Oh. Kratos shakes this off and kills him by impaling him on his own anvil before heading off to retrieve Oh, him. wow. Kratos' quest takes him to the gardens of Olympus, where he finds Hera, the wife of Zeus, drunken and belligerent. After making his way through the gods, can get drunk. confronts Kratos once again, insulting Pandora and causing Kratos to lash oh my out God. and snap her neck. Oh my God! Kratos makes it to the labyrinth and finds Diadolus. This brother, I love him. I love this. Trapped I can't inside, even lie. Diadolus claims that Zeus promised him that he would have his son Icarus back once he completed the labyrinth. Kratos reveals that Icarus was in fact dead before activating a trap and killing the architect. Oh. Inside the labyrinth, Kratos finds Pandora and takes her with him. In the flame of Olympus's chamber, Kratos raises the labyrinth to access Pandora's box. However, Kratos refuses to let Pandora sacrifice her life, as he does not want to cause her death as he did his own daughters. Makes sense. She chooses to embrace her fate, however, and breaks free, only to be stopped by Zeus. <laughs> Zeus mocks Kratos for showing care for Pandora as if she was his own, and tosses her aside before engaging in battle with the sun. Wow. During the battle, Pandora attempts to run into the flame in order to put it out before Kratos grabs her to stop her. Pandora pleads with Kratos to let her seal her fate, and Zeus provokes him by telling him not to fail Pandora like he did his own family. Wow. Kratos will let her go, and the flame of Olympus is extinguished. Wow. Bro really said, don't fail. Don't. Wow. Kratos opens Pandora's box Zeus is a villain. <laughs> it is now empty. Zeus oh. mocks his son once again, and the two meet outside and gaze upon the destruction Kratos has caused. The two are interrupted by Gaia, however, and she tries to kill them both. The two then enter a wound in Gaia's chest and fight beside her heart, draining the life out of it. Oh, Kratos, wow. powered by the heart of Gaia, then impales Zeus into it with the blade of Olympus, finally killing both oh, Gaia wow. and his father Zeus. Let's go! Upon a broken earth, Kratos finds Zeus's body and retrieves the blade. However, as he tries to leave, oh, Zeus's spirit what is that? Kratos and drains him of his anger and willpower, replacing it with fear and loss, the forces that plagued his father. Trapped in his psyche and once again being tortured by his memories, the spirit of Pandora appears and helps Kratos abolish these torments through hope. Oh, Kratos nice. Kratos returns to the physical world and forces Zeus's spirit back into his body. Kratos then charges him and beats him to death with his bare hands, finally oh, killing him and my destroying Olympus for God. Afterwards, Athena appears once more and congratulates Kratos, asking him to turn over the power he found inside Pandora's box so she could finally give it to mankind. No. Kratos laments that the world is destroyed and anything she would have to give would be useless. More so, the box so he was keeps empty. it. Kratos believed Pandora had died in vain, simply another casualty in his quest. For okay, the box was empty. Yeah, you're right. Athena reveals to Kratos that when the evils of the Titans were first sealed into the box, she placed the most powerful weapon in the world beside them to counteract them. The power oh. Of hope. Athena oh. initially believed that when Kratos opened the box for the first time, all of its evils had transferred unto him, and hope was lost. When in actuality, the evils went to the gods and Olympus, and hope was buried deep in Kratos under his pains. Under his pants. <laughs> was the power able to release inside of him. Kratos, realizing he has nothing left to live for, impales himself. No the of way! Olympus, freeing the power of hope into the mortal world. Oh! Athena is angered by this and tells Kratos that she is disappointed, to which he responds with a final laugh before she removes the blade, leaving him to die. Sometime later, we see the mural where Kratos' body once was, now abandoned, with nothing but a trail of blood leading to the great sea that now enveloped the world. Wait, what? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. No, I'm more confused. I think I'm more confused. So if he died, and if he like, if he if he offed himself, then how was that? So wait, so what's what? So wait, what's God of War for? Because I need to figure this out. What like which one am I gonna really be playing? I'm so confused. I thought Man had a son, right? So 2018 God of War on PS4. So how does the how, how is he alive? If if he if he if he if he offed himself, what the you don't know what he's got a Metal Gear Solid complete timeline for six hours. That is a six hour video. That's insane. Also, I will leave the link in the description down below. Sorry, I didn't I didn't say it at the beginning, but if you made it this far, I will. Um, you don't will see it. Like whoa, I right okay. I think I'm actually more confused than I than I was before watching this. Do you know what I mean? Like I like I get the story, but it's like bro's not here anymore. So how 
is there a God of War four? You know what I mean? I mean, how did he? When did he? When when does he make? A, when did he get a son? Like, how does the son happen? Like, what? Am I missing something? Oh my god! All right, cool. That was amazing. Though. I'm not even gonna lie. If you guys enjoyed the video, then leave a like, subscribe to the comment down today, and I'll catch you on in a bit. That was actually amazing. Peace.